this example, we are going to log into an HVR remotely and download a video clip from one of the cameras. So to log into your HVR, you need to open up Internet Explorer and you want to make sure you have admin rights if this is the first time you're doing this. Now with your web browser open, you want to enter the IP address of the HVR and if you are unsure what your IP address is, please take a look at our How to Set Up Port 14 video for assistance on locating this. And make sure you have login administration credentials. Once you are logged in, go to the Playback tab. And then select the camera you want to download a clip from. In this case, we want to select camera 02. And then to the right, we have our calendar section. And if you notice, some of the dates have a triangle in the lower right-hand corner. This indicates that some video was recorded on that day. So if you know the day of the video is you want to download, go ahead and click that date and then the search button. Once you click the search button, the timeline at the bottom will show you what time the video was recorded and is also color coded to show you what type of video was recorded. So now you can click the play button to play the video and it will play the next video it is on. If you know about what time the clip was recorded, you can navigate through the timeline to around that same time. So the clip I am looking for was a little after 12 o'clock, and once I click about that time, you will notice that the timeline will begin to shift. Once you've identified the video clip, and you know what the timestamp is on that video clip, you can go ahead and stop playing the video at that time. And if you notice the video clip stopped was at 2016, January the 4th at 12.23.21. To download this particular clip, go ahead and click the download button. And then the download file Internet Explorer window will open. And we need to find that file here. You will notice we have a start time and end time column here. So we are looking for 12, 23, 21, and you'll have to navigate to that page with the timestamp you are looking for that falls between the correct time start and end time for that video clip. So now we have found it, we will select the file and click download. The status of the download will show in the progress column. Here it says the file has downloaded. So now, to find the file on your computer, we will close this window and then go to the Configuration tab. And then go to the Local Configuration menu. And then go down here to where it says Save Downloaded Files To, and in this case, it is on the C drive, in a directory called Surveillance Subdirectory Download Files. Next, we can open a file browser to go to that particular file. And if you notice that here, we have the directory already open. And right here is the file we just downloaded, with the correct timestamp. And now you can play the file by just double clicking on it. And if you have a video player, such as VLC, it will open and play it automatically. So this is a file I wanted to download, and now we can get out of this and close this window. Now you are able to offload this file to some type of flash media, and that is it. If at any point you have any questions, or you run into any trouble, please feel free to give our technical support a call and we will gladly assist you. Thank you for watching.